Okay, so this is going to be our little annotation of the first little section of the outside, just to give you an idea of the sort of the way you could be reading the text. Uh, there'll be a lot to annotate in the opening chapter of the book, as we're looking especially for characterization, and we are looking for eyes and hair and those sort of things that jump out at us. So when I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind: Paul Newman and a ride home. So Paul Newman was a famous actor, um, we'll just take a note of that and we'll probably research him a bit later. I was wishing I looked like Paul Newman, he looked tough and I don't. But I guess my own looks aren't so bad, I have light brown, almost red hair and greyish green eyes. So here we have our motif or symbol rather of hair and we've got a description of the eyes as well. So we'll just add those little notes there. I wish they were grey because I hate most guys that have green eyes, but I have to be content with what I have. My hair is longer than pony boys, then, sorry, then a lot of boys wear theirs, squared off in the back and long at the front and sides, but I'm a greaser and most of my neighbours rarely bother to get a haircut. Besides, I look tough. I look better with long hair. I had a long walk home and no company, but I usually loan it anyway, for no reason except that I like to watch movies undisturbed, so I get to into them and leave them with the actors. When I see a movie with someone, it's kind of uncomfortable, like having someone read your book over your shoulder. I'm different in I'm different that way. I mean, my second older brother, Soda, who is 16, going on 17, never cracks a book at all. And my older brother, Daryl, who we call Darry, works too long and hard to be interested at all, interested in a story or drawing a picture. So I'm not like them. And nobody in our gang digs movies and books the way I do. For a while there, I thought I was the only person in the world that did, so I loaned it. So here we've got hair, eyes, uh, this is an example of characterization, this whole section here, um, as is this. And so we might pull out key codes of this to discuss our main character as he is being introduced to us. So that would be useful for us to refer back to later as we go through the story. And obviously he's the outsider because he's the one reading literature and getting involved in books. Soda tries to understand at least, which is more than Darry does, but then Soda is different from anybody. He understands everything, almost, like he's never hollering at me all the way, all the time the way Darry is, or treating me as if I was six instead of fourteen. I love Soda more than I've ever loved anyone, even mum and dad. He's always happy-go-lucky and grinning, with, while Darry's hard and firm and rarely grins at all. But then, Darry's gone through a lot in his twenty years, grown up too fast. Soda Pop will never grow up at all. I don't know which way's the best. I'll find out one of these days. So we'll have to refer back to this later, but this is kind of a nice description of his dad, rather the way his mum and dad used to treat him, uh, or how he feels about them, and also the way that the gang interacts in a family way. Anyway, I went on walking home thinking about the movie and then suddenly wishing I had some com company. Greasers can't walk alone too much or they'll get jumped or someone will come and scream greaser at them, which makes you feel, which doesn't make you feel too hot, if you know what I mean. So this is our Socha's verse greases, and I guess loyalty as well, that being a part of the gang means being jumped by different people. We get jumped by the Socha's, I'm not sure how you spell it, but it's the abbreviation for the socials, the jet set, the west side rich, rich, west side rich kids, it's like the term greaser which is used to class us boys on the east side. So this is a nice little description of sort of setting out the socials versus the greasers and the social hierarchy, which is how we phrase that. So just to give you a bit of an idea, I'll just pause it here. Um, but just roughly, these are the sort of things that jump out from the first couple of pages. Uh, if you could go on and do the whole first chapter yourself, that would be great to see how you set it out and how you interact with this kind of annotation guide that we've got.